Hey everyone, Jack Tiger 93 here, and we are here again with another indie horror game that, well, I tend to play when it's 3 a.m. and I can't sleep, and you guys know the deal. I have all my lights off in my apartment, and I am alone in my apartment, as far as I know, and I'm gonna, I'm settling in to get spooked a little bit here. And the game we're playing is called Fingerbones. It is a free-to-play game on Steam, and I'm hoping for something really good, because this is by... Uh, David Siminski there, and David Siminski, I'm probably, I apologize for pronouncing that, his last name, um, I really don't mean to, because, yeah, he's behind a lot of different games, one of which is Dusk, one of my really, uh, I don't want to say my, f okay, fine, it's really one of my favorite FPS games ever, actually, I, it's a newer one, but it's done in the style of Quake and Doom, well, more so Quake, and it's done really, really well, and the atmosphere to that game is so on point, I absolutely love it, and, if it's someone who gets ambience and mood, it's him. It really is. So uh, when I saw that he made a few other games, I was interested. And I saw this one up on Steam, and it looks uh, interesting. So it's meant to be done in one single sitting. So I'm going to try and do this in one playthrough. Um, if I'm really doing horrible at figuring something out, I'll end it after about like 30 minutes or so. But um, yeah, it looks pretty simple. W A D S to move. Left mouse button to interact with the environment. And yeah, let's uh get to it. Wow. Oof. Oh look at that mouse. I'm gonna have to uh I'm gonna have to adjust that. I'm I'm gonna Oh boy, okay. No 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 I I okay, I moved it the wrong way apparently. Okay, that's a bit better. Yeah. Okay, good. Oof, I love the lighting here. Love the, um... The light shafts and the gold colors against the walls here. Like, this is beautiful. Just this one room. Like, you can actually see the dust. The, I, I, it's just great, actually. I just can't put my finger on it, but the aesthetics of this room are just, is just so simple, but perfect. And this is what I mean, David Siminski really does get mood. He does it in such simple, simple ways, but very effective. Exit. Wait, shit! I did not mean to do that. Crap. I thought that meant exit that room. Okay, let's go back into the game. Oh, God. Did I already, did I already lose the game? Oh, shit. I gotta change the uh, mouse again. Wow. I'm so horrible at video games, I even fail a, uh, a freaking walking sim. Great. Okay. So we don't want that door. We want this door. Or not. Okay. Wow. We don't have a flashlight, unfortunately. That would be nice. But we could manipulate the environment. So there's knives here. It looks like we have a note. Okay. It's my weekend to get Katie, but I'm really not in the mood. I distracted her with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help. Because I'm not depressed, I am enlightened. And this is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Okay, a little pretentious, a little pretentious, but apparently this dude uh, had a divorce. You know, that's unfortunate. Oh, is that a flashlight? Oh, awesome. Brilliant. Okay, what's up with this? Okay. Another note, good. I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as the door lock code in my survival bunker. Those kids are happy, she's like her mother. Okay. So, if we have to get into this guy's bunker, we know it's his daughter's name. The thing is, we don't know his daughter's name yet, but we'll remember that. I'm trying to click on these drawers, but nothing's happening. Did I... That's a new note, I think. Pop morality is too reliant on emotions, not reliant enough on rational thought. Okay. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that it is a farce, Okay. It should not be determined by feeling. Okay. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and changeable. K. 
okay. Well, okay. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural... Natural and thus moral. Unless the concrete scientific reason we given to prove them as immoral. Okay. I guess. I mean, it's kind of weird that this dude would say, um... Morality is, a. Uh, a farce, but then says morality should also be based on reason. It's it's almost like two different, two completely different sides of the philosophical spectrum on that. When I was 15 years old, I lost my virgin. Okay, I did not. Wow. Oh shit. Oh shit. Um. Okay. Now this is what I mean when I when I uh, say that I would prefer doing indie horror games as opposed to ones by AAA developers. Like just some boundaries that a indie horror game or an indie movie will cross that a triple-A studio won't, and that makes the uh, horror or apprehension or anxiety feel a whole lot more natural. Like, when I'm in a movie theater and I'm watching, like, you know, for example, I'm watching the new It movie, right? You know, and I think that was produced by Warner Bros. I could be wrong, but it's, it's one of those studios, and... Is that a wood chipper? Yeah, what I'm saying is, it's produced by a major movie studio. They're not going to cross certain boundaries, the things that really will freak me out or scare me. I guess that is a good thing. I don't know, but okay, let's turn that off. Uh, turn it off. All right. Doesn't want to turn off. Still can't open that door. Box of knives. Makes me wonder what kind of room this was. Looks like it was a living space, but people moved out of it. I don't know. Let's keep looking around. There might be another note somewhere to help us out here. I think we already read that. Yeah. That looks new. Oh. Okay, got it. That's where we gotta probably type in the um his daughter's name. Okay, and we gotta figure that out. Katie, that's it. Oh, caps lock. That should have done it. Right? So that should be unlocked now, I think. Yep. Ooh. Going into the pit. One thing that a lot of, you know, classic map makers will do, especially in Doom and Quake, they'll change, abruptly change a map's color scheme from room to room to denote a certain change of mood. So, going from the warm, yet yeah, kind of threatening, but warm golden uh, light shafts above to this very stoic uh, monochrome is is definitely noticeable, definitely stark and uh, effective. Before I try heading down there, let's see what this note says. It finally happened. The whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams, and when the ashes settle, we will all be wild animals again. Okay. I'm ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days, and she's probably dead for all I know or care. Wow, you're a dick. But Katie was here when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Oh. Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh God. Okay. Oh, this is this is fascinating. This is fascinating stuff. Um, apocalypse happened, and this guy is wondering, or postulating, what humanity will be like without society to keep us in place. Now, I always affirm that people are naturally aimed at good. Like we're naturally aimed at being happy, and uh, I really think that um, the Purge movies have it wrong. I think most people. If they're going to be driven to violence, it's to protect their loved ones. I mean, yeah, there are crazies out there, but there's far more rational people than irrational people. My box of everything that isn't practical and useful. I burned all the books that weren't for scientific education. 
Oxygen in the cellar, but I can't get down to the lab by myself. Oh shit. I hear crying. Wait, what the fuck was that? Something about blood? What the fuck? Alright, what's this note say? If I can get to it. Come on, there. Tool room has been her name for years now, and I can't bring myself to change it. Okay. So the tool room's name was, um, Lynn? Let's double check that. Again, I hear that crying again. That is creepy. Alright, where do I go? Let's, uh... That could be a hatch. Let's try this first. No, no luck. Okay, let's go down here. No? Okay. Is there a way to, um... Open it? Hmm. Did we read that one already? No. Yeah, no, we read that. We read that too, I think. Okay. So, uh, let's try heading back up and see if there's anything different. I think it's still going. Oh, okay, maybe we gotta put in Lynn in the uh, computer and that'll open up the um, the tool room. Okay, cool, let's try that. Alright, let's uh, see if it did. Going back on down. Okay. We in. Very dusty in here. Extremely dusty. And I, I like that, actually. I like that a lot. Usually when I'm... Usually when they want, usually when a game developer or map maker wants an obscure vision, they just do it solely by lighting. But dust works really well. Like in real life, this room's really, really dusty. It's hard to see, and with dust, it denotes age. It denotes that people have not been in this room for men for a long, 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 long time. Really effective, and just a really subtle way in a in a level to have lore. Actually, I changed the storage room because me I can't. Or, The rest of the word is missing. Probably his name. Danny? Kenny? Benny? Frank? I don't know. Wait. Wait a minute. What if it's Lynn spelled backwards? Let's try that. Try that, or maybe it's upside down? I have no clue. This is annoying. But then again, that would make sense, because it said the rest of the word is missing after the Y. So, oh. Nice, okay, cool, I think that was it. About freaking time. Alright, yeah, I'm so gonna have to edit um, a good chunk of this playthrough, because I think I just spent like 40 minutes walking up and down the stairs trying every single word I can think of that ends in N and Y, and that was a pain in the ass. Alright, let's do this. Okay, cool. hoo -ha. There's a button there. Uh, nope. I am a bag of DNA and I just make my form myself. My genes. Okay. Maybe ancestors built this place for years. Okay, cool. 
Wait, what? Fleeting village. Okay, okay, we get it, dude. Jeez. Read some fucking Nietzsche. Alright, what'd I just do? I think maybe I opened the uh, cellar door or uh, basement door. Yep, cool. So we go. No, maybe not. Okay, what the hell did I do? Press something. That did something. Hearing new noises. That's uh, that's not a good sound. <laughs> that's still locked. Let's uh, see if anything's different upstairs. I guess. Seriously, we go up and down. I'm getting my... It's leg day. I'm getting my legs in. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Jesus. Okay. I'm not sure why I thought that would change anything. Oh, okay, that's now open. You know. The cellar is freedom, and what the hell are, are those fucking finger bones? You know, they should really just have the keypad, like, downstairs, too. Alright, let's try freedom. Yep. Alright, that was easy. Let's head down the stairs. I keep hearing, like, these noises. Like, part of me is so happy to finally see something new and not go up the stairs, hopefully, again. Other part of me is kind of afraid what we're going to see down there. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, you motherfucker. I'm going to kick your ass. The fuck are you? Come on out. I will mess you the hell up. I will... I will punch you right in your fucking soul. If you dare... Oh, you son of a bitch. You asshole. Yeah, no, I found him. Well, you're a dick. You're, you're a dick. Alright, I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna kick you right in the nuts. Oh, shit. I was... Okay. I really should have seen that shit coming. Damn. Well, all right. Well, uh, there you have it. That is finger bones. Um, God damn. God damn. So, uh, yeah, that is it. Um, it was definitely a, uh, that's what I mean. A, a game like that's independent will cross boundaries that other games will not cross. And yeah, that was pretty freaking disturbing, pretty atmospheric. And, uh, one of the puzzles really gave me a headache, but I'll edit that down. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Everyone, uh, sleep nice out there. This is Jagtagger93 signing out. You have a good one.